addiction. It's an often misunderstood, complex condition with no known cure. In the United States today, experts estimate that 22 million people are struggling with alcohol and drug addiction. But the vast majority of people are not getting the help they need. In fact, some approximate that only 10% of the addicted population is under care. That means 90%, over 20 million people, are going without help. There are many myths about people who um, have addictions. Um, one of the myths is for alcohol is that you have to drink every day to be alcoholic. There are myths that all ad addicts are um, skid row bums and homeless, where the vast majority of people with addiction work every day and have families. No two people develop the disease of alcohol and drug addiction for exactly the same reason, or in the same way. There are genetic, biological, and social factors that contribute to addiction. Some people develop addictions and others do not for a variety of reasons. We know that there are social reasons why some people do not develop addictions. In some cultures, it's just socially not acceptable to overdrink or, or use drugs. We know that biologically, addiction is a brain disease and that some people seem to be addicted from the first time they use alcohol or drugs and other people it takes a lifetime in order to develop the addiction. There are also genetic reasons why some people develop addictions. We, we have research and studies that show that there's type 1 and type 2 alcoholism that run in families. Um, we also know that um, you know, there are certain cultures where uh, alcoholism and drug addiction um, far exceeds other cultures. Because each case is different, treatment must be individualized for each patient. These treatments are continually evolving as research sheds new light on the cause of chemical dependency. It's impossible to create a universal treatment plan that works for everyone who comes in uh, seeking services because individuals come in with a complex of differing uh, what we call presenting problems. So we try to be sensitive and do a comprehensive intake and treatment plan based on the presentation that we get from the individuals. And a treatment plan has to involve the entire family. In the past, we used to deal with the individuals, often males. Now we are realizing that it's actually a family disease for the male, the female, the entire family. And so the treatment plans have to be specific to what they bring in, what they need, um, how they're going to get well and get into recovery. Addiction doesn't just impact the user. It has a profound effect on his or her family, co-workers, even society. The generational impact that alcohol and other drug abuse will have on families and significant others is huge. It affects every person within the family and it's devastating to see it from the outside what happens ongoingly within that family. Addiction, alcohol, or other drug abuse harm on our society can be seen with corrections, Department of Justice, where 75 percent of incarcerated individuals uh, are there because of alcohol or, or other drug abuse. Annually, 300 billion dollars of revenue is lost due to alcohol and other drug abuse influence on the workforce in our country. While there is no cure for addiction, recovery is possible. Through patient-centered care, new research, and hard work, those struggling can overcome their addiction. NADAC, the Association for Addiction Professionals, is on a mission to address the needs of the addicted population. Located just outside Washington, D.C., NADAC brings the important issue of alcohol and drug addiction to the forefront of health care legislation. It's the voice of NADAC that's heard on Capitol Hill to the legislators to help them understand that addiction is our national security problem because it affects one out of every five individuals in America today. Through their work, NADAC has helped raise tens of millions to strengthen the addiction profession. NADAC is a nonprofit organization, and the funds raised by NADAC generally um, assist those persons we serve, and that really is a treatment community. Counselors, other professionals who are served by NADAC end up offering the most enhanced, improved services to the community at large. 
our intent at NADAC is to help the helpers. We help those persons who offer help to the persons who have addictions or the families who are suffering with addictions. Because this job that we do is so intense and so personally affecting, it's important that we have a professional identity and help for the addiction professionals. NADAC is able to serve that through the work that we do through our affiliates all across the country. As more people seek treatment for their dependency, addiction professionals are in high demand. NADAC works to draw attention to the rewarding career of addiction counseling and provides credentialing for the professional workforce, setting a standard of care for the industry. There's a dramatic need for addiction professionals in the United States today. The reason for that is that we're losing about 5,000 addiction professionals every year. At the same time, as we're creating more jobs, more employment for addiction professionals, we need new young addiction professionals to take those spots. It is important to set a standard of care for the addiction profession, and NADAC is doing that in several ways. We create a, a national standardized training system so that addiction professionals throughout the United States can receive standardized training in evidence-based practices and other promising practices. Along with that, they receive products that enhance their ability to do better services on their job with counseling theory and methods. The other thing that NADAC does is that we set a standard through certification. Addiction counseling has been an extremely rewarding profession for myself for a number of reasons. First of all is that addiction treatment works, it's effective. It's amazing to watch and it's a privilege to watch people who are in the throes of their addiction um, become well and sober and um, reclaim their lives in recovery. NADAC will continue its mission of fortifying the addiction profession and in turn help more people overcome this debilitating disease. There are many future plans for NADAC. Some of the ones that I feel the most excited about is our outreach to students in different college settings and the development of our career ladder and helping um, young people and people who are looking for a second career enter our profession. NADAC is in the development of a locator system. This enhances our ability not only to get the addiction profession out there to the community, it also enhances our ability to intervene earlier in a person's life. The earlier we can intervene, the quicker we can get them into treatment and services, the better chance of recovery and sustained recovery in their life. So we're really excited about this.